Hello again. Today I'd like to talk to you about the difference between building on uplands versus wetlands. When a person has a piece of property with wetlands on it, it can make the cost of construction and the cost of permitting much higher than when you avoid impacting wetlands. We're fortunate to have clients who are environmentally conscious as well as cost conscious and want to preserve the wetland habitats. So I wanted to give you an idea of the differences that it can provide both environmentally and construction wise for a project. If you have a given piece of property and you want to build a building on it with parking, landscape, pedestrian access, you can build within the uplands at a much lower cost with a shorter review time because there are fewer agencies that have to review the plans and each agency charges less to review the plans and it costs less to clear the property and build on it. If you choose to build within the wetland, there are more agencies that have to review the plans. Those agencies charge more money for the exact same footprint that would be built else that could be built elsewhere. And it takes more time in order for the plans to be reviewed and approved. Not to mention the cost of construction is higher in a wetland versus an upland. You can't plant a cactus in a swamp. The cost of plants that will survive in a wet ground typically cost more than the types of plants and trees that will survive in a drier or upland area of a piece of property. There's many other examples I can provide to you as to the difference in cost alone, but you're also affecting the habitat. Feel free to call us at 904-425-6711 and I'll be glad to fill you in on the details for your specific needs.